Hello guys and welcome to Programmerist. I'm starting a new series dedicated to solving interview riddles. In this episode, I'm gonna solve the flip words riddle. So the riddle itself is pretty simple. Given a sentence, uh, you need to flip the words in the sentence. For example, a sentence like uh, I'm going to work needs to be uh, work to going am I. Okay, so you need to flip the words without flipping the word itself. So today I'm gonna show you how uh, you should implement it and it's actually pretty simple. So before we start, uh, I'm gonna use Quokka on the current file. So uh, what Quokka allows me to do is show the output without the need to, to run uh, the code itself. For example, if I use const x equal one and I log the x, I will see that x is 1 and if I change it I will see x is 3. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use. So let's start. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, create a sentence and it will be I am a dog wolf. Okay, so uh, what I need to do is I need to flip it. So in the end the result should be wolf dog a M I. Okay, so let's assume that uh, we're having not a string but a character sequence. So let's create it. Okay, and then let's just see what we got here. Okay, so the character sequence is I am a dog wolf with spaces, like we expected. So uh, the basic idea of flipping the words is uh, I'm gonna flip in the entire sentence, okay, the entire string of characters, uh, like from uh, the end to the beginning, okay, so it will be foo god a me i, and after I do it, I'm gonna flip each word uh, by itself, fixing the rotation of the word itself. So, in order to implement all of this, all I need to do is implement a simple function that will flip uh, the characters. So let's create it, flip cars, and it will receive an array uh, of characters. TypeScript doesn't have car uh, type, so I'm going to use any, it doesn't matter. Uh, and it will receive a from number and a to number. It is included, okay? It's meaning uh, let, if uh, the two is given, the character with the place of two is needs needs to be put on the place of from and vice versa. Let's just uh, rename it flip because it's gonna be a generic function without the need uh, to specify any type. It can flip anything. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iterate while the from is to the left of the two. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the array at the from. I'm gonna put the array of the two at the place of array from and I'm gonna put at the uh, location of the two, the saved uh, array from uh, variable, and in the end, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the from the left side uh, once, and the right side I'm gonna move to the other direction also once. So let's just see what we got here. So when I flip the cars from the beginning to the end. Remember, it is in, uh, included, okay? So uh, I need to remove one from the length of cars and I log the cars. What I'm having here is the same sentence I had before, uh, only flipped. So for go, uh, God, A, M, me, I, sorry. So uh, as expected. Now, after I flipped the entire word, the entire sentence, 
Uh, what I need to do is I'm gonna go and flip each word by itself. So uh, in order to do it, I need to look up for the spaces, these spaces which separate from uh, each word. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have uh, two uh, indicators of the starting of the word and the end of the word, and uh, I'm gonna uh, increase the end of the word until I hit a space, flip that word between the start and the end, and start looking again. Okay. Uh, so let's do it. Uh, let's make it start. Let end be also equal. And what I'm gonna do is while <coughs> uh, word uh, while end sorry is less than Carl's length, meaning until I. Uh, I'm going to iterate until I hit the end of the sentence, included. Uh, to include the last word uh, also, I need to flip it also. Uh, what's wrong? Where's Quokka? Why I'm not hearing it? Why I'm not seeing it? Cannot set properly zero of undefined. Word end. Okay. I don't know why, but let's let's make it like this. Okay. Quokka had a problem. I don't know why. Uh, oh, maybe because of the loop. Yeah, because it's infinite loop. Uh, so uh, okay, let's leave it like this. Uh, so if uh, word end is equal. Carl's length, meaning I hit the last word, I finished, or the Carl's at word end is equal to space, meaning also I hit the last word. What I need to do, I need to flip the Carl's from the uh, word start to word end. Okay, and I need to set the word start to be the word end plus one. And the word end it needs to be the word start plus one. And I need to increase the word end plus plus. Okay, so uh, let's look again what, what I do here. Uh, I iterate the until I hit the end of the sentence and each time I increase the end of the word uh, now uh, if I hit the uh, if I hit a space okay let's look at what hit, what happens uh, if I hit a space uh, sorry I have a bug here minus one if I hit a space I need to flip the word from the word start, which indicates where the word starts, until the word end minus one because minus one because I hit the space. And after I flip that word, uh, the next word is gonna start after the space. That's why the word end plus one, and it's gonna end. Okay, it's gonna end uh, at least the next character after the word start. Okay, and I can see here I have a bug with the word plus plus, so it's ne it needs to be like this. Okay, uh, and after I do it, I increment the word end. And let's just see what happens after I run it. What I here get what I get here is woof. Let's remember the sentence was I am a dog wolf and now this, the sentence is let's read it from the end to the start I am a dog wolf okay so the words are flipped so once again let's go over uh, of what I did here I created a function generic function uh, it's not generic but uh, it doesn't care about the type of the uh, array it's given and it flips the uh, 
the sequence inside the array, uh, starting from the from and ending in the to, uh, given to the function. Uh, once I created this function, I used it in two places. One time I switched, I flipped the entire sentence uh, to receive the sentence uh, in reverse. And uh, next thing I did, I went over each word and flipped the word itself. So uh, the foo here became a wolf, the god here become a, became a dog, the a stayed in a, and the ma became an m, and I uh, stayed i. How I did it? Uh, I created two uh, counters, one starting uh, one uh, which indicates the start of the word and watch and one which indicates the end of the word uh, and I iterated till the end of the string and every time I hit a space I flipped uh, the uh, string from the start to the end. Now let's look at the complexity of uh, this algorithm. So what I did here, I uh, the flip method here what it does, it actually runs from the from to the to only once. So uh, the complexity of the flip is uh, given the, uh, by the O of to minus from. Okay. So uh, when, when I run it uh, with uh, uh, these parameters, the, complex, the complexity is O of n, uh, big O of n. Uh, which is uh, when n is the number of characters of the sentence. Uh, so the complexity of uh, the line here is O of n. Uh, and the complexity of the while here is once again, I, I iterate only one time over the entire sentence. Uh, but uh, what I do here, after I iterate, I iterate uh, another time on each word. So I go once over the entire sentence and the second time over each word meaning uh, I do two iterations of the array but once again it's O of n so the entire complexity of all the algorithm here is O of n and uh, I cannot do any better because I do need to go over all of the array You have watched an interview riddles episode about flipping words in a sentence let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more Interview Reels episodes by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you really want to see and click over here. If you want to watch other culinary videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Programmarist!